we had a wonderful subscriber who had inherited some money and said, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set up a brokerage account uh, to set aside some money for these wonderful children in my family. She had some nieces and nephews that she wanted to do, do right by. And I said, well, wait, wait, wait a minute. You know, why put that money, why use that money for the next 15 years to finance corporations while these kids are growing up? Isn't there something more tangible we can invest in that will start to, to involve them in the economic process much faster, something much more tangible and intimate? Well, it turned out some of the kids had lived in a rural area and their parents were knowledgeable about livestock. Well, as one thing led to another, she ended up helping to buy a herd of animals and the parents committed to take care of them. And we calculated if they did a good job. In fact, by the time they hit college, they should have better returns. So it was a very sound investment, but it, it involved those children in learning about an entrepreneurial process and learning about taking care of animals and, and connecting them with something where they could participate directly in the value creation process. And I realized from that and a variety of other sort of things that happened as I went around my life that, that as more and more people were worried about the future, they were failing to invest in their children and grandchildren and the children and their family and community in a way that would build economies. If you look at the basis of a, of a healthy economy, it's healthy communities. The community is simply a molecule of the whole economy. And if you look at a healthy community economy, it's really made up of family. So if you're going to build community wealth, you got to build family wealth. If you're going to build family wealth, well, it starts by building the children up and involving them in the economic process one child at a time. And I discovered that literally we needed, people needed to be inspired with lots of different ideas as to how they might do that. And what I was finding in families as well was um, we had some people with money but no time and some people with time but no money. And it was clearly they were the solution to each other's problem. Because if you put the people with time and money together around building up the children, you know, then you could get a lot of wonderful things going. And so I wrote an article that then became a wonderful little booklet called Gifting to the Children We Love. And... And the goal was to really help people realize if we want to have hope for the future, then we have to build the future. And the way you build the future is by inspiring, attracting, and building up the young people. Where's the capital going in our world? It's going to the economies where you have young people. It's, it's following the demographics. And in fact, if, if you look at local economies, the way to build up that local economy is to succeed the set success and growth of the young people there.